We are following breaking news out of the White House, where President Biden has signed an executive order laying out a range of punishments against Russia. NBC has confirmed the measures will include expelling Russian diplomats and imposing sanctions, consequences for election meddling, cyber warfare, and actions in Crimea. All of this comes just one day after the president made another big foreign policy announcement, officially announcing the U.S. will fully withdraw from Afghanistan by September 11th. Secretary of State Tony Blinken is in Afghanistan right now, where he met with the Afghan president about the relationship between our two countries and where it goes from here. NBC's chief White House correspondent, Chief Kristen Welker, is on top of all of this. Kristen, let's start with this Russia news. It shouldn't be a surprise. I mean, on the campaign trail, President Biden said, Putin, we're coming for you. And now he is. Steph, you're absolutely right. That is the exact right framing for this. President Biden on the campaign trail as a candidate said Russia would pay a price for meddling in the 2020 election, something that Russia denies. Well, today we are seeing what that price is. More than 32 entities and individuals will be sanctioned. Ten Russian diplomats forced to leave the U.S. Also punishments for hacking the solar winds hack, which, of course, targeted major U.S. companies as well as government entities. And they continue to look into those reports that Russia offered bounties for U.S. troops, although notable, they are not linking the sanctions to that last piece of it. Steph, the president doing this in concert with allies in the region. He has been in contact with allies in the region. But I spoke with Jake Sullivan, the national security advisor, just a short while ago and asked him if President Biden conveyed to President Putin that this was coming when the two spoke. He indicated that, yes, that was a part of the discussion, that President Biden was quite frank with him, that the United States would be taking some type of action in the wake of learning about the interference in the 2020 election. The bottom line, Steph, if you put this into broader context, what does this mean? This is yet another inflection point in this relationship between the U.S. and Russia, a critical relationship, but which is increasingly tense day by day, Steph. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.